The Prince and Princess of Wales have sent fans in a frenzy over their latest flirty display during a surprise podcast appearance. Prince William, 41, and Kate Middleton, 41, appeared together on the latest episode of Mike Tyndall's podcast The Good, The Bad and the Rugby, which was released on Saturday. And during the discussion, the heir to the throne sent his wife a quick wink as the pair joked around with each other. The sweet exchange happened as Kate, 41, insisted that she's not as competitive as everyone assumes, leading to her husband's cheeky response. And the flirty moment had viewers going wild. Look at our Prince of Wales winking to his lovely wife when she says she isn't that competitive, one royal enthusiast gushed, posting the clip on their Instagram fan account at William underscore Catherine 82. We all know both of you are very, very competitive William. She has a wonderful sense of humor, a second added. Was such a great episode, so funny, a third agreed, whilst one also dubbed the pair so cute. Mike hosts the rugby podcast alongside former rugby player James Haskell and TV presenter Alex Payne. The description for this episode read, The Rugby World Cup is underway, so Tins managed to get us a meeting with the patrons of the WRU, RFUSRU at Windsor Castle. Hask and Alex can't believe their luck at being invited along to have tea with Tin's mother-in-law plus the Prince Princess of Wales. During the discussion at Windsor Castle, the subject of competitiveness was raised, with Kate and William being asked about competition between them and one of the presenters revealing that Mike had compared them to Monica from sitcom Friends who is known for her insatiable desire to always be the best at everything. He said, I am not going to lie. But Mike has made out both of you are super, super competitive, a bit like Monica from Friends, and if you guys play table tennis it will go on for hours and hours, and be like, double or quits. To which Kate replied, I am really not that competitive, I don't know where this has come from. She then joked that she and William have never managed to finish a game of tennis, giggling as she explained that it becomes a mental challenge between the two of us. Mike then asked if the couple's three children Prince George, 10, Princess Charlotte, 8, and Prince Louis, 5, are showing signs of competitiveness. Princess Anne interjected to say, Just a little bit, I would suggest. Kate revealed, What's interesting is that they all obviously, have, very different temperaments. And as they're growing and trying out different sports, they're obviously still really young. It's going to be interesting to see how that grows and develops. Earlier in the podcast, William had spoken about how important sports are for children, especially when it comes to learning about winning and losing. Talking about the skills you gain from those early years of playing team sport, he said, learning to lose, which I think we've got to concentrate more on nowadays.
I think people don't know how to lose well. Talking about our children particularly, I want to make sure they understand that. I think it's really important from a young age to understand how to lose, and why we lose, and to grow from it and what you learn from that process. But also to win well, and not boast. There are so many life lessons that help us all through life, in friendship building, in relationship building, workplace, that you gain from those early years of playing team sport. He also opened up about enjoying his cousin Zara's sporting success, revealing that the only time he's ever cried was when watching the now 42-year-old win the European Championship in 2006. William said, I was down in Exmoor at the time camping. We were all huddling around the phone watching it. She was there she was blubbing away the flag was going up. I was in pieces. The Prince and Princess of Wales appearance on the podcast came ahead of their journeys to France this weekend to watch the Rugby World Cup. Kate attended a group stage match between England and Argentina at the Stade de Marseille in her role as patron of the Rugby Football Union on Saturday.